Hello, this is an introduction to the Pair Pro to Teacher program at Gordon State College. If you're not familiar with Gordon State College, we are a state college in the University System of Georgia. We were founded in 1852 and we're located in Barnesville, Georgia, which is about 60 miles south of Atlanta. We are accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, and we started our traditional um, elementary education program is um, in its 14th year, and our Pair Pro uh, to Teacher program is uh, started its second second year in 2021. Here's a map showing where we are located in comparison to the other state and universities within um, the state of Georgia. So let's talk about who the Pair Pro to Teacher program is specifically designed for. It is designed for those who are currently working in K-12 environments as peer professionals. It is preferred that you are in a K-5 setting and you'll learn more about that as we talk about our field experience requirements. Um, it's also for those who are currently working on or have completed an associate degree or credits equivalent. Now if you haven't quite completed an associate degree or have any college credit for that matter, um, you can definitely start our program you would just need to complete the pre-courses first and you're welcome to do that with us before you start the program. Also, um, if you have a goal to become a Georgia Certified Teacher, our program is aligned to do that uh, via the Professional Standards Commission. This program is also designed for those who are wanting to remain employed as a pair pro while they complete the requirements to become a certified teacher. Um, this program is in an online format, so you are able to complete your coursework online, your pre-courses as well as your courses in the program, and you'll do your field experiences in the school system where you are currently employed, allowing you to remain employed the whole time while you complete this program. Upon completing this Pair Pro to Teacher program, you will have earned a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education. You will also be eligible to gain Georgia Teacher Certification in the area of Elementary Education and Special Education General Curriculum. And that, uh, those two things will make you employable as a teacher in a K-5 public school setting. Um, but keep in mind that you also have the option to work for private schools and other educational related institutions. It is important to know that this is aligned to Georgia Teacher Certification, so if you are going to be teaching in another state, please consult with that state's process uh, for certification conversion. So let's look at the big picture process for completing uh, this program. So your first start step is to apply to Gordon State College and become um, an admitted student. You would do that on our website at www.gordonstate.edu. After you have been um, accepted into the school itself, then you would need to complete any pre-courses that you have left to take. Um, this is very specific to the student depending on how many courses you have, where they've transferred in, all of that. So we look at that individually. So once you're accepted into the program, we create a worksheet for you that shows you where uh, your transfer hours count and what classes you have left to take. And then at that point, you would finish those pre-courses. Those pre-courses can be taken online or on campus, and you can choose how many you want to take per semester. Once you've completed all those pre-courses, you would then apply to the actual education program itself. That involves an application, disposition, and recommendation forms. Um, in addition to completing the application itself, you want to complete the GACE Educator Ethics and that would be using code 360. It's important that you make sure to take the GACE Educator Ethics and not the GACE Leadership Ethics. Um, this is a requirement that is for um, anyone starting an education program in the state of Georgia. It's not Gordon specific. It is also important to note that the program admission assessment, um, also known as the PAA, which included reading, writing, and math portions, is no longer required for students to apply to education programs beginning in July 2022. So once you um, have been accepted into the program because you've completed your application, disposition, recommendation forms, and completed the GACE Educator Ethics, then um, you would be accepted into the program. At that point, you would be asked to, uh, you and your principal would be asked to sign the MOU, which is a contract. Um, where your principal is allowing you to complete your field work in the, um, in the school system where you are employed, and then you would start classes. And the classes in the education program itself run two years. They start in the fall semester, and they run fall, spring, summer, fall, and spring. Um, that last spring, as you complete the program, you would take the Gay Subject Area exam, and in this case it would be for Elementary Special Education General Curriculum. And then upon graduation, you would now be a certified teacher. 
So let's look at those pre-courses, which are your associate level courses that are you're required to take before starting the program. So here's um, a screenshot of what the worksheet looks like that we send to you. Um, so you can kind of see um, the different areas that you're required to take. We have area A, which has an in two Englishes and a math. Area B has a colloquium and a fire. Area C has um, an upper level literature and humanities course. Area D has two lab sciences and an extra math or science. Area Area C has two, uh, two histories of Western Civil American history as well as two social sciences. In addition, you have your Area F requirements, which are your major requirements for teacher education. So you have the education courses as well as the math and the ISCIs all related um, and stemming towards education. And then you have your Area G physical education requirements, which is a health and a physical PE course. So when you apply to Gordon State College, if you um, have credits from other institutions, it's very important that you send official transcripts from every college that you have attended. Um, and that's to make sure that we can give you the max amount of transfer credits credits as possible. It's also important that these are official transcripts and the easiest way to get those is to go to the website of the college that you um, attended and go to the registrar's website and usually there is a way to send electronic transcripts um, and you can send them straight to our admissions department at admissions at gordonstate.edu. Once they get those, they can put those on file uh, to be reviewed. Once they have uh, gathered all of your information and um, you are accepted into Gordon State College, you'll get an email saying that you're fully accepted. And at that point, you want to contact one of us in the School of Education so that we can review those pre-courses and make a plan for you. And then at that point, we would send you a copy of this plan and show you what courses transferred and what courses you still have left to take and help you get registered for the first um, semester. Keep in mind that you can take as many pre-courses as you like at a time. Um, and you can go to any of our campuses as well as online for this. Around the semester in which you're completing those um, pre-courses is when you would want to apply to our education uh, program. So the requirements for that is that you have to have a 2.75 GPA on all of your pre-courses. You want to actually apply to the education program. Um, in addition to doing that, you want to send in your recommendation and disposition forms, as well as complete that GACE Educator Ethics um, number 360. There is a $30 fee for that, um, and there is information on our website about how to register for that. Um, and then, of course, you want to make sure that you are going to be currently employed as a pair pro in a public school system during that time period. Here's a little more information about the education program itself. When you actually start the education program, once you're fully accepted in, um, it is a full-time program, so you're taking five or more classes a semester. The coursework itself is completely online, which allows you to remain employed. Um, and the program is in a cohort form, format, which means you start as a group. Um, now that is important to know because you cannot skip semesters or pick and choose what classes to take. You have to take the courses in the order, in the time period, and when they're offered. Um, and once you're in the program, you are required to take summer classes between your junior and senior year. In addition to those courses, you are required required to complete field experiences every semester and this is where that MOU with your principal comes into place. So um, within this this is um, kind of a layout of how the field experiences work. Your first uh, fall within the program, which would be your junior year, you would be doing uh, working with a kindergarten or first grade teacher for 100 hours that entire semester. And then the second semester, your second, um, your junior year, second semester, you'd be in a second or third grade class. Over the summer, of course, you don't have field experiences. You would just have online courses. And then the next session in your senior year, you start the fourth or fifth grade pro. Uh, take your fourth or fifth grade field experiences and then that last semester you're actually doing your student teaching. During your student teaching you're able to choose what um, grade level you would like to be in so oftentimes our peer pros go back to the grade level they were initially assigned to. Notice that student teaching is 600 hours, which is pretty much all day every day, while the others are only 100 hours, which usually amounts to a couple of hours a week. 
This leads into the discussion about the MOU, and this is um, an understanding between you and your principal that once you're accepted into the program, um, they're going to work with you in completing your field hours. Um, this uh, contract is the principal agreeing to let you complete your field hours in the, speci in the specified grade levels um, that are required for our program in the school that you're already in if those grade levels exist. It's also allowing you to leave that school system and go to a partnership school if um, your school does not have those specified grade levels and that usually comes into play if you are in a school system that is only pre-k through second grade you would have to leave that particular school to go to a um, fourth or fifth grade setting for your third practicum um, so that is where that comes into play so here's an example um, if you're a pre-k pair pro in a pre-k uh, through second grade school your principal would have to agree to allow you to go to a k1 classroom the first semester a second or third grade classroom the next semester um, and then a fourth or fifth grade which would you know you would have to go to another school if you're in a pre-k through second grade classroom to complete your last one and then you could go back to student teach in either the k1 or the 2-3 classroom but it is important to know that you cannot do your field experience or student teaching in pre-k Here's an overview of what the courses look like when you actually um, enter the education program. Remember, it's a fall, spring, summer, fall, spring. So this is um, allotment of what the courses look like. Notice every semester you have a LART, which is a teaching of reading course. You usually have a math class, which is a teaching of math uh, course. And you normally have a special education course because this is a um, certification in elementary education as well as special education general curriculum. Highlighted in green here are your professionalism courses. Those are actually your field experience courses so notice you take one in fall spring fall and then in your last spring semester so you are earning college credit for those field experience hours notice that last spring semester you're not taking as many courses and again all these courses are offered online for the pair pro to teacher program um, the majority of your hours are coming from your professionalism courses which are your student teaching courses your next step is to go ahead and apply to Gordon State College and send in your official transcripts. So if you go to our college website and if you choose apply now in the top right corner, um, it will take you to a site to create an account and apply to uh, Gordon State College just the college itself. Um, when you're doing that, make sure to pick your major as elementary education, pair pro to teacher, um, so that we know that you're specifically interested in the pair pro to teacher program. Also, go ahead and send in all of your official transcripts to admissions at gordonstate.edu so they can put those on file. Once they have all of your paperwork, um, they'll, you'll get an email um, saying that you've been officially accepted into Gordon State. At that point, reach out to one of us in the School of Education so that we know that you are ready to register. Um, at that point, we will uh, create a worksheet for you and show you where your pre-courses are counting. If there are any left to take, we'll help you get registered for those. Um, if you don't have any pre-courses left to take, we'll help you get started on getting that information to apply to the education program. And lastly, here's some contact information for you um, in regards to any questions you might have about the Pair Pro to Teacher program.